Hey everybody, KD here once again. A little uh, bench update and a stash ad. Uh, I didn't have didn't have a chance to get much done. I've been working a lot as usual. Paychecks are nice, but there's no personal time to do anything. But I did get something I've been looking for in the mail. Uh, I got myself. Another Johan 60 DeSoto Adventurer hardtop. I have this one here that I've I finished several years ago. So several, like 20 or 30 years ago. I want to build another one. Uh, Paul at West Coast Model Builds, I believe is his channel's name, uh, was having a thing about building a group build, about building a kit that you like and... Uh, I've always liked this kit. I don't know why. <laughs> There's just something about this DeSoto that I really like. I did a decent job on that one. Um, I painted the engine the wrong color because I assumed that back then, you know, all Chrysler engines were hemi orange. So it's kind of, uh, I want to paint this one the right color. I don't know if I'm going to do the wiring on it, but uh, I want to paint it uh, candy apple red with a pearl top. And I'm probably oh, yeah, pearl white top, white pearl. Um, and I'll probably put some aftermarket wheels and tires on it, make it slightly custom. Um, this kit was actually fairly cheap, and I only can assume it's because nobody wanted it because it is molded in red. It's in good shape. I checked all the parts are there. Um, that's the only thing I can think of is nobody bid on it. I was the only one that bid, so I won. Um, but I don't care. I have to uh, figure I'm going to paint it candy apple red. It's going to be red over red like the like the chaser was that I haven't finished yet. Uh, I'm thinking I was watching Mark Batson's video about painting um, all clad candy colors, and I'm thinking about painting this uh, the candy ruby red that he was testing out. I think that would look really sweet. It kind of kind of like what's the box art with the with the uh, pearl white top. I think that would look really good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the interior. Um, that one I painted. Um, it's basically gold, white, and black. I think I based it on some pictures I saw in a magazine because that's pre-internet there. So I got that. Looking forward to building it again. And uh, I went to the hobby shop today to buy some supplies. Uh, I bought a bunch of paint. I was trying to resupply my my paints that I used on the 29 uh, Ravel uh, Model A Roadster, but uh, they didn't have any um, any of the lacquers that I needed. They actually the closest pick, the closest I came to the uh, Mystic Emerald was this custom. Custom green metal flake or metallic flake, but as you can see, it's it's uh, that that is that color. That is the the new color. It's an enamel. That's the testers, the lacquer uh, mystic green that I had used. I need some paint because I ran out. Um, I guess it wouldn't matter if I used it on the wheels. Um, I also found out something interesting is that uh, I have a can of of uh, Inca Gold that I bought many many years ago. This is a 2015 can, and uh, they didn't have anything, so I grabbed this thing and it was close. And it is called Gold Lacquer, but it's the same number. And uh, I sprayed them on a couple of spoons. And uh, they're exactly the same, which I assume that, you know, I, can, I never trust, you know, <laughs> uh, what they say. Um, I also thought I was, I also want to try and get some more um, diamond dust lacquer. So I thought, because this, this doesn't even have a, a, a colored cap on it, and it says it is supposed to be silver glitter. Well... That does not look to me like silver glitter. That looks like gray with some sparkly stuff in it. So that's a no-go. I also bought 
uh, for an upcoming project that we'll hear about shortly. Some uh, fiery orange extreme lacquer that I want to use on a project that's coming up. Um, the other thing about the store besides paint was I bought this really cool Tamiya Mercedes-Benz Sauber C9. Um, I remember these cars back in the day. Um, I was a big uh, IMSA slash Le Mans series. Uh, I think they're called they're called the Rolex series now. I think they were they had a different name back in back in the day. But I remember these cars watching our size. I have also have a, a silk cut Jaguar. Uh, I think it's a Hasegawa kit. Um, I don't remember what year it is, but I remember those too. So um, this is going to be a nice kit because um, I do like the Mercedes race cars. Uh, I also went a completely different route. I wanted to try something different uh, because I have not built one of these in forever. Uh, I vaguely remember building one. I don't know if it was a Tamiya kit or what it was, but um, I decided I was going to get this. Um, Ducatis are pretty, I know nothing about really about motorcycles. I just know Ducatis are like supposed to be really cool motorcycles. Um, they had like a Kawasaki, I think, and a Honda or something. Um, and then a, I think it was a Kawasaki that looked sort of like a Harley. Uh, but I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I don't remember, somebody I watched on YouTube used to ride a Ducati. And I don't remember what kind it was. Um, I don't know if it was Chris Harris or somebody I knew, somebody I watched, I don't remember exactly who, but I thought, I want to build a motorcycle, I just build something very cool, and I thought the Ducati would be awesome, test my skills, like I said, I haven't built one of these before, or I haven't built, I don't know, I, I think, like I said, I think I built one, but I'm not absolutely positively sure, I have vague memories of doing like the, the vinyl brake lines, uh, the tubing for the brake lines and stuff, uh, but I have no clue. I don't know if it was a Tamiya motorcycle or if it was a, another motorcycle, like maybe a Ravel or an AMT motor. I don't, I don't know, really. But I just have vague memories of building a motorcycle. And I think I think this would be be very, very cool to build someday. Add it to the stash of some days. Um, so it's going to be a good week. I'm going to uh, post another video here. To go up on the 15th for the uh, USAC build. Uh, I've got some ideas for that and uh, I'm going to try and get my Whirly Bird uh, group build project finished. I'm just like so far behind because I'm never I'm never home. And, uh, but uh, it's all good. Hey, you know, I'd rather be working too much and having money to spend on models and and stuff than not having any having all the time in the world and having no money been there done that hated it so I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more builds doing some more work I probably should show a uh, little bit of work I did on the uh, the uh, 29 I got uh, oops got some of the parts painted and uh, gonna paint the interior here pretty soon because um, the weather has been like raging hot it was like 90 some odd degrees today 20 percent humidity uh, so I decided I was gonna paint some do some spoon experiments get my get ideas across of what I want to do and basically had fun and that's all that matters so everybody have, I hope everybody has a great week and uh, we will talk to you later bye bye